Sagittarius, welcome to your general reading for October. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody, unfortunately. But I do personal readings and my email will be in the description box, as always, along with information about what decks of cards I use in each video, okay? <clears throat> the King of Scrolls. So somebody coming in to tell you something there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, because I use a lot of decks of cards, so I leave that information in the description box, okay? Check that out, guys, there. Okay, let's see what we have going on for Sagittarius during October. So we have five of keys, wishes fulfilled. I love this card. This is wishes granted. So whatever it is, whatever your desire was, whatever you've been wishing for, trying to manifest, that is coming for you guys during October. I really, really love that card. It's one of my favourite. And we have the Oracle of Dalphine here. Okay, so in this deck, it's um, basically, you know, um, you'll be receiving messages. I said that with the King of Scrolls. And um, here it's about how one would interpret the message. Okay, so you will be receiving um, gifts, messages, um, all sorts of things here. <clears throat> All sorts of information you'll be receiving at this time. It's going to be like a gift, like a karmic reward here. You could even be getting a lot of downloads um, spiritually and just really taking off here. Okay, receiving a lot of spiritual messages. Let's see. Ooh, Archangel Gabriel. You are definitely being guided, being protected, being rewarded at this time. I love it, guys. I love it. So great time for you guys. Wishes fulfilled, you know, um, really seeing, um, you know, the reward of the work that you've been doing here. So it's going to be a good time for you guys during October. Very spiritually protected and guided here. The lovers. So this does speak of um, a lot of healing, but it could be a divine connection here. If you've been wishing for a divine connection here, wanting a message from a lover, that's what's coming in now. Okay, guys, it's getting that what you wished for. And like I said, some people just may even be wishing for a message and that's what you're going to get here. Just be careful on how you interpret it. Okay, because... Um, the Oracle card, it's like receiving a divine message, but like, you know, when you pass on a message and it can get changed here, this is the energy I'm picking up. So just be very careful about that. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. So you've definitely been working hard on something and up until now you've seen no um, reward from it. It hasn't grown here. There's nothing that, you know, you can harvest. So it shows you still waiting, but here with the wishes fulfilled, um, you know, and healing this, I look at these two cards as a gratitude. OK, so thankful for um, having time first to wake up and put in the work here. It does show you've been hard at work with the seven of pentacles and haven't been able to claim a reward yet. But that's what's coming. Whatever it is you've been waiting for. Or working hard on that's what you're going to be rewarded here it could be even money you, it's like good news coming in for you guys it really is here like something rewarding it could even be signing new contracts with the lovers two of wands yeah a decision is going to be taken here and can you see where we say you know three of wands your ships coming in it's like now's the moment the ships are already present it's decision time now OK, so maybe you're at this point with just these two cards. Look, I've waited. Nothing's come about. Um, do I still hold on to the past, as you can see him doing here? Or do I, you know, move on to my future? Because while I'm holding on to my past, this is why I'm seeing nothing in my future, because I'm holding on to both. Um, so you may be just reflecting on that now and saying, look, I'm making a decision to either let go of the past and stop waiting or, you know, uh, I'm going to wait 
okay? But here it shows that you will be rewarded for the work that you've put in. The Seven of Pentacles is like a farmer who hasn't seen his crop harvest yet. So if you haven't seen nothing come about yet, now's the time. It's like decision time. Something big is coming where you're going to have to make a choice. Ten of Swords. With the Ten of Swords, we know it's like extreme pain, it's extreme hurt, but it is the end of a cycle. So it's time to leave that pain behind. You've really got to decide this now so this good stuff can come in for you because that's what's wanting to happen here. The Divine is wanting to like um, bestow blessings upon you here with the Five of Keys, your wish is fulfilled. But if you're still in this mode and you're feeling hurt, then they can't come in because you're holding on to things that are no longer serving you. <clears throat> it does show that this was an extreme pain, okay, or an extreme betrayal, feeling backstabbed here. So I get it. But you don't want to hold on to this forever. You want new stuff coming in, okay? Even if it's like an old connection or whatever it is, because everybody's unique. I'm not here to judge anybody. I'm, if you want somebody back, the way to do it is let go of the past, okay? Because it's keeping you stuck. Trying to hold on to the past, but trying to go forward into your future is keeping you stuck here. So this is why nothing can grow. So something wants to grow now. The divine wants to reward you. Close down this cycle, okay? So what we need next is like the Ace of Swords for communication or clarity for you to cut yourself free. Queen of Pentacles. So you could just be diving into work here um, and really focusing on that. Or if you're waiting for a business opportunity to pay off, you may be signing a new contract and having a promotion here. So it's for you to decide, do I you know, move into this new job, this new career and let go of a job that's no longer serving me? I feel like I'm being used or something here, um, you know, to nurture myself and grow myself here. So, yeah, it's like I said, signing a new contract or something for work. And if you are just diving into work and not really clearing any energy, you might want to stop and make a decision. OK, look, I'm going to say, look at the bills and pay them and get that. I'm going to stop ignoring things here because it's still holding on to that energy. It's not clearing the energy. That's why nothing can come of it. So, here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide, look, I'm going to face this head on. I'm going to, you know, take charge of my life here so that good things can come in. I'm going to let go of the bad. Because you're protected at this time, so don't feel that you aren't. And your angels are trying to get a message to you. Somebody's definitely trying to communicate with you. Chariot, there you go. You get success. You get this forward movement. It's something you've been waiting for now coming in, okay? You need a new approach. So like I said, if you've been holding on to past or just holding on to resentment or, you know, focusing on work but not really, you know, clearing any energy, just like I'm ignoring it. It's not there. You need a new approach. So face it, okay? Face it head on here. And it shows you having victory, moving forward, getting on track there. Princess of Wands. So this is the page of wands in the normal deck. Um, so there, there we have it. This is, you know, pages are about communicating, pages deliver messages. And that's what I feel here. Somebody is coming in to deliver you a message, either a promotion, you have to let go of something in order for these good things to come in. So somebody is coming here to tell you something, giving you some information. You're going to find out some information. Um, maybe you've been waiting for somebody and you find out, huh, so they're in a relationship. I'm moving on. Or you find out they're not in a relationship. So you're like, huh, OK, I'm going to face this problem. You know, however it resonates with you, I'm giving examples here. So we have the Eight of Swords there, okay? So I said this, I said you could be feeling stuck. If you are feeling stuck or tied to somebody, um, this is because of overthinking and not letting go of 
either one, the past or the future, not making a decision here. This is why a decision has to be and will be made. And once you make that decision, you'll see how you free yourself. OK, so it's like, OK, I'm going to decide to free myself from all this negativity and I'm just taking this information i'm using it as a positive and then you know i can really take off here i get the success i get the forward movement i'm looking for you may even start learning to drive here princess of cups so page of cups yeah somebody coming in with an apology okay so i'm telling you you're gonna get some messages this month um for some of you it's just like the final knife in your back that you're just like, I can't take this crap anymore. I'm closing it down. Others of you will be getting an apology. Um, just don't be overthinking or feeling that you're stuck, unable to move forward because you can. Where there's a will, there's a way. OK, you can move forward from this. The Eight of Swords is always about, you know, believing that you're stuck in a situation, but she never really is. She's just not seeing um that she can get out of here. She feels like she's tied up, but these swords aren't chaining her in. Okay. So she will be set free here. The death card. There you go. Transformation transformation okay so you'll be going into scorpio season with this transforming energy so you're going to get information that frees you here so that you can transform okay with the death card here you can transform and then you can get this forward movement that you desire here you can take care of yourself get that job that you always wanted no more waiting around okay or you can get that love connection you always wanted wishes will be fulfilled okay so all you have to do is make the decision to no longer be in this energy because the tens are about closing down of a cycle here believe you me you're very guided and supported during um october it's like information coming in that frees you up one way or another okay and who doesn't want that clarity good luck guys